Diabetes is a devastating disease that affects millions of people worldwide. As of yet, there is no cure for diabetes. But in a recent breakthrough, scientists have come one step closer to a major treatment and possibly a cure for type 1 diabetes. For the first time, researchers from the University of California San Francisco have successfully turned human stem cells into insulin producing cells that the diabetic patients lack. But what causes diabetes in the first place, and how are these stem cells converted into insulin producing cells? Normally, the pancreas in a human body contains beta cells that produce insulin. This insulin keeps our blood sugar levels in check by converting glucose into energy. Unfortunately, those with type 1 diabetes have an immune system that destroys their own beta cells, thereby decreasing or preventing the production of insulin. Without insulin, the body's glucose is not utilized and chronic spikes in blood sugar levels can lead to blindness, nerve damage, kidney failure, heart disease, stroke, and even death. Those with type 1 diabetes manage their condition by injecting themselves with insulin, often doing so multiple times a day. A light workout, slight change in diet, or even just an exciting event can have a serious impact that requires a glucose meter check and an insulin injection. There are clinical trials involving islet cell transplantation, which places insulin-producing cells from an organ donor into the body of patients with type 1 diabetes. But this relies on a pancreas from a deceased donor and taking immunosuppressive drugs for life. So what if there was a way to produce healthy beta cells in a lab without the need of a transplant? This is where stem cells may come to the rescue. Stem cells are incredibly versatile thanks to their ability to be converted into other types of human cells. They are like a blank slate that can take on various forms and functions, which is hugely beneficial for researchers who are tackling human diseases. Previous research that aimed to turn stem cells into insulin producing cells suffered setbacks when the cells failed to reach maturity. Researchers were finally able to overcome this obstacle by copying how cells are organized in a living pancreas. Beta cells are found in clusters called islets of Langerhans. Scientists figured this formation of cells into islets or clusters must be an important step in the maturation of beta cells. When researchers replicated the process in lab dishes by artificially separating partially differentiated pancreatic stem cells and reformed them into islet-like clusters, the arrangement allowed the cells to mature and function just like regular insulin-producing cells do. The team then transplanted the lab-grown islets into mice and found that within days they were functional, producing insulin in response to their blood sugar levels. Of course, as promising as this study may seem, it was conducted in mice, so there's no guarantee that it will work the same way in humans. For now, the scientists are looking to see if the gene-editing CRISPR technology can be used to change the stem cells enough so that they won't be destroyed by the immune system. If the research continues to be successful, it could offer a much more realistic solution for type 1 diabetes, and possibly a cure.